Ladies and gentlemen, parents, guardians and indeed students of the many primary schools in the North Kerry, West Limerick area. Welcome to the open night, the virtual open night of Tarbert Comprehensive School for 2021. I hope you're doing well. I hope you're all keeping OK. Our preference always would, of course, be holding an open night in person, but that wasn't possible this year or indeed uh, last year. But we hope that in the next few minutes you get a sense about our school, what we're about. And after my presentation introduction this evening, I am going to let you know about a wonderful facility we have on the school website that will give you an opportunity to meet some of our staff, some of our students and take a virtual tour around our school. But more about that later. For those of you that don't know me, my name is Richard Brendeville and I have the privilege of being the principal here in Tarbert Comprehensive School. And I want to tell you in the next few minutes what our school is all about and what sort of life is like here for the students who enroll into us. In September of 2022, the current six class students, what they can expect when they enter here. So first and foremost, to let you know that Tarbert Comprehensive School is comprehensive in every sense in its origin and its ethos. It was established in 1973 and there are around 13 comprehensive schools around the country. Um, and that word comprehensive encapsulates everything that we do and feel is important within the school. We are comprehensive in our ethos. In that sense, we are non-selective in our student intake. We accept males and females of all abilities, all social backgrounds, of all faiths, of no faith, and we give them equal access to our school, our subjects and educational opportunity. And because of that, our ethos is one that is a reflective of society, a comprehensive reflection on society. And we also offer a comprehensive curriculum. We offer a vast array of subjects, those considered academic and those would be a, that would be considered practical. And we offer new subjects that have come online in recent years as well um, within the uh, curriculum that students enjoy here. Our school motto is Men Sana in Corpore Sano, a healthy mind within a healthy body. And that's very important and that we are very concerned about creating a rounded and grounded whole person. A student or a young person that is in general happy, they feel they belong and they can integrate into our school and indeed prepares them for integration into wider society later on. What can the members of our school community avail of should they come here? Well, our students can avail of that broad and balanced education, that comprehensive curriculum I mentioned to you earlier. We offer a positive and inclusive learning environment. There is no such thing as male only subjects or there are no female only subjects. We offer an inclusive learning environment where our students are actively engaged and in many cases they learn by doing. And not only do they learn for the subjects that they engage in, they also enjoy and learn valuable skills that will set them up for the rest of their life. And they, again, prepares them to be rounded and grounded young men and young women once they leave here. Parents, we have a great working relationship with our parents. Parents trust that their children are safe and cared for once they come into our building. Um, we may have 520 students in the school, but we know them all individually and we nurture their individuality. And we encourage parents to play an active role, a partnership role with us in their child's education and their child's development. Parents are communicated with regularly and frequently and on a variety of different ways we do that. But I'll speak about that again later on. And it's important that parents trust us that we achieve their child's potential and whatever that potential may be, because again, they are all individuals. Again, that working relationship with our parents is something we hugely value. Our teachers are very much involved in building relationships with students within the school. They create an active and engaging learning environment in their classes and they continuously train and upskill so that they have the most up to date knowledge on various different specifications or curricula 
or indeed methodologies within the classroom. And in many cases, our teachers are hugely involved in extracurricular activities as well with students, encouraging them, promoting them, them to be much more than simply students that sit in front of them for a classroom from nine until four o'clock. Not at all. Our teachers are hugely committed to getting the best from their students. What about our student settings? Well, our students enter here into mixed ability settings for the most part. We don't believe in a thing of streaming, not at all. Uh, we believe that students of all abilities should mix together uh, once they enter here in first year. When it gets to later on, uh, particularly in the core subjects of Irish and maths, we do divide them off into higher level and ordinary level. And we do that especially in Irish and maths, sometime maybe in third year, sometimes on second year. And in English, we do it from fifth year upwards. We cater for students of all levels and all abilities. And we like to use the term stretching learners, that they are all stretched to achieve their potential. Um, and, you know, we do have high expectations for them. Um, and we set out those expectations very clearly for them as well. Learning support and resource students are catered for within the school. And it's, it's important to know that our school is not results driven. That is not our primary purpose here. However, that said, our students achieve fantastic results year upon year. This is just a, an example of the results from the students of the class of 2021 just gone by. And you get an idea of where our students are at. 11.6% of them within the class group achieved 600 points or more compared to 5.7% nationally. What a phenomenal success. And look down along the line there. 42% achieved 500 points or more compared to only 27% nationally. And you get that sense of where the students' ambitions lie, where parents' ambitions lie for their child, and how we stretch the learners and we create high expectations for them. On average, students in Leaving Cert years achieve 67 points more in Tarbert Comprehensive School than they would do compared to other schools nationally. And that 67 points is quite valuable, I can assure you. If you think 2021 was a good year and maybe somehow it was affected by the accredited grades process or calculated grades, it wasn't. This is These are the results in a selection of 2019, the last pre-COVID leaving cert, if you like. And again, you get a sense of where the percentages and statistics are at there at various levels again. And note the gap there too was consistent with that of 2021, 66 points, uh, uh, the gap there between results nationally. So we're very proud of our students and we're very, very proud of their achievements. Just to note for you as well um, that your child, when they come into us and they enrol to us, will complete a Saturday assessment for us. Um, now, we haven't done that last year, but we will be doing it, please God, in 2022, sometime around February or March of 2022. It's nothing to worry about. It's not an entrance exam. The enrolment of your child does not depend on their performance at this. It gives us a sense of where your child's abilities lie, particularly in the literacy area and the numeracy area. And again, we'll confirm that date for you once your child has enrolled with us, but it's likely to be in February or March or 2022. That's the class group of 2021, the Leaving Cert group, and a fine bunch they were who did exceptionally well. And one day, should your child enrol into first year with us in 2022, one day they too will have their class photo on the walls of Tarbert Comprehensive School uh, when they pass through our gates and going on to further and higher education, please God, or apprenticeships or the world of work. Extracurricular activities, what do we offer? Do you know there's very little we don't offer here. We even have an equestrian team, a horse riding team. Now, of course, COVID has put stop to a lot of the activities, given that many sports came to a halt and the rest. But quite a number of them continue. The chess club, for example, I note, are still working here in school at lunchtime. They play the games with each other via the computer in the computer room. There are book clubs on offer, etc. Walking clubs, 
those activities continue as much as possible where socially distant measures are in place and COVID procedures operate. But we would hope very shortly, and certainly by 2022, many of these activities will be back up to full speed. What layers of support can your child expect when they enrol here within Tarbert Comprehensive School? Well, every student is going to be assigned a Leaving Cert student who will look after them, mentor them, guide them, give them a helping hand, be a friendly face around the building. Those LC2 mentors are trained at the end of August prior to their arrival into Leaving Cert year and they're a dedicated bunch and they will work with your child. Naturally, following that, your child will also be assigned a subject teacher and that's a big change from the primary school whereby they've had one teacher all day. Each base class is uh, going to be assigned a class tutor or a class teacher who will offer a supporting and caring role for your child. They look after the journals and collect them to make sure they're being signed on a weekly basis to make sure everything is going OK. And they pick up lines of communication from home and equally that parents are signing a communication from teachers to home. They will also then refer on any issues or concerns to the year head who will look after your child and will almost be a mother or father figure to your child. Offer again a caring role, also a disciplinary responsibility to that year group and will be a parent's first point of contact should they be looking to link in regarding questions on their child or indeed the subject teachers are also a point of contact if there are particular questions around certain subjects um, and, and subjects um, progress of your child. We also have a school chaplain, Miss O'Connor, who has a pastoral role within the school. Mrs Griffin is our career guidance counsellor. Our SIN coordinator within the school um, is Miss Paula Falvey. We have a student support team who meet weekly. And this is, in fact, these people on the slide are all members of the student support team. We all come together weekly to look after our students and offer care support where it's needed, discreetly, quietly, privately, and linking with home and with necessary parents when, uh, when involved. The deputy principal is Miss Leela Maloney. And then, of course, I myself am also part of that student support team as principal. Look, when your child enrolls with us, they're going to be assigned a base class. Um, we have somewhere between three and four base classes. In the past, we often had five base classes too. We have somewhere between three and four base classes um, that will come in to us in September of 22. And we divide off and make those classes with great care uh, in the months of May and June prior to their arrival. And how do we make those base classes? Well, we divide the students geographically. We divide them according to gender. And we also look after their ability levels and spread them out so that there's a consistent uh, division amongst the three, the three or four base classes. It's important to note that once those base classes are made, they're made. They are set. There is no swapping between them to follow friends or anything like that. So look, in advance, however, in advance of us making those base classes, tell us what we need to know. If there is a particular friend, and I say that is singular, that you feel your child would benefit from being with, let us know. If you feel that perhaps they would be better off away, um, uh, from from other people they perhaps were with in primary school and that a new beginning would be required for them, uh, let us know. Um, and we will do best our best to facilitate these arrangements as much as possible. And, you know, fresh beginnings and new beginnings are something that this school is all about. And we find that our first year students transition very, very, very well. And by the way, they sometimes are better off forging their own path and creating their own new friendships because at the end of the day um, that is what it's all about them growing them developing them moving on to the next stages of their own life and responsibilities to stand on their own two feet how is discipline approached in the school 
we believe it's a firm but fair approach. And in fact, we ask our students that question when they come into us, as I survey my first years every year when they come in, just to get a sense of how they're progressing. Usually about eight weeks in, I survey them and I ask them that question. Now, I don't have that survey done with the current first years, and the last survey I had is, in fact, with the current second years, and this was their response. Asked what, their, what they felt the best approach to discipline in the school was. The overwhelming majority thought the school was firm but fair. Um, some thought, thought it was very strict, um, but that's, I suppose, that's the, the equally their, their viewpoint as well. But we would consider it very firm and fair. Bullying, it's always a worry for any parent or guardian if they're to send their child to a school. It's not tolerated here. That doesn't mean it doesn't happen from time to time, of course not. But it's something that we look out for. It's something that we deal with and that we deal with actively. If you have concerns, if you have fears around instances of bullying or instances uh, that may have occurred in primary school level, let us know about it. Drop us an email pick up the phone, write it on the application form, put a note on the application enrolment form, send us an old-fashioned letter. Just let us know about it if you have any fears or worries or concerns and that's always a good heads up uh, that we can carry with us in forging uh, a, a new life for the, your child here in the school. And look, above all, um, we've dealt and been in the education system for quite a number of years. The, the senior management team here and the staff, we're used to dealing with issues when they arise. Trust us with the problem and we'll communicate with you and we'll get, obviously, we'll link with parents when issues arise and with students and we deal with them as they arise. Mental health concerns, always an issue, I suppose, in modern life, particularly for young people too. And it's important to note that there are a huge amount of supports here in the school that I previously mentioned. The chaplain, the guidance counsellor, we also imply and hire an external counsellor that links with home and families. That's of great support to the school too. Communication. Look, we're always talking to you. You're going to be always talking to us. We're at the end of the phone. Communication is something we hugely encourage, be it in the journal, our, our, um, our technical administration uh, system, VSWare. We have parent-teacher meetings once a year. We have information evenings at various points for certain year groups. A newsletter goes out. Reports go out. The website has a huge amount of information, www.harvardcomprehensive.ie. And then, of course, we have the VSWare app also, which links in and gives you an overview of your child. Keep us in the loop. Keep talking to us. Sometimes stuff can happen at home that may impact your child at school. There may be illness in the family. There may be financial worries. And if you think those things are going to impact your child, we're going to be able to handle certain issues that may develop from that better if we already know about it. What can you expect and the challenges that you can expect from transitioning from primary to post-primary, nothing major, thank God. Our experience here in the comprehensive school is quite good. But they are going to be more tired because they're getting up earlier and the days are longer. You're going to be hit with new names from, of teachers you didn't hear of before, new friends you never heard of before, more homework, etc. And all in all, our first year students transition very, very well. Similar survey, I asked that question. It's of, of our current second years when they were coming into us in first year. Overall, did they like the school? And do you know what? Overall, they do. And they continue to like the school as they progress through it um, over the five or six years that they are here. Finance-wise for 2022, there is a, a yearly parental charge that covers everything and anything, all bus trips out from students to matches and the rest. It also includes insurance for your child, whereby your child is covered for 365 days of the year for 24 hours for any accident happen either within school or not within school. And it's a very valuable asset that many of our parents have used. Even if they have an accident in the middle of July away from school on a football pitch, God knows where, school insurance will cover your child. There's a book rental 
facility, which is a very, very valuable asset to parents and guardians. And that's 200 euro. And you get all the books for your child over the three years. And in general, many of those books at this point are quite new because of new curricula, new specifications that have come online. And that will generally be done in some week in July. And we also have a book grant that is paid by the Department of Social Protection to the school that we dispense out to uh, parents, particularly your fifth years first, because we have no book scheme at senior cycle. And that is, is used to offset the cost of purchasing books, particularly for those uh, parents who have financial difficulties um, and so on, or large families. And we try and look after that. Again, we cater for that around the month of October, November uh, of the year that they go into fifth year. And indeed, we also dispense it to first year um, parents as well around the same time. The uniform uh, for September 22, well, that's the uniform jersey, sorry, uniform jumper. We also have a PE top or a PE jersey um, that is on sale in the school shop only. The PE top is on sale in the school shop only, 25 euro for that, and that's at cost value. Our admissions policy, should you require any more information, is on the website www.tarbertcomprehensive.ie. And the closing date for enrolments to Tarbert Comprehensive School is Friday, November the 12th, 2021. And we'll write out to you within 21 days after that closing date, letting you know about your uh, acceptance of your child. And again, have a look at the admissions policy and the prospectus of the school. There it is in the left hand corner. The, the prospectus of the school again available on the school website. Bus transport can either be public bus transport via bus air and school bus service or it can be privately through certain private bus companies that operate it. It has really nothing to do with the school, but I will direct you to the bus air and website for school transport should you require more information. The new junior cert, you've probably heard a lot about a new junior cert and new forms of assessment and new syllabi that have kicked in. Look, don't worry about it. It's it's something that your students, sorry, the students get their head around very quickly. We give more information out during the course of the year. Uh, but again, uh, if you go to the uh, website, the JCSA website, you will find information on that. Naturally, this isn't live. So it's pre-recorded and there may be stuff that's coming up in your head now that you'd like a conversation around us. And communication and conversation is something we hugely encourage here within the school. If you have questions that I haven't already answered in this video presentation, by all means, pick up the phone to us and speak to us privately. And we'll certainly have a good chat around your child prior to their enrollment. And, and needless to say, um, People are always welcome uh, at any time to link in with us and we will do our best to get back to you as soon as we possibly can. Finally, and I always conclude with this, just be aware, and I'm going to put my hand up here. Oh, this is where it is. This is the school crest up here. It's the lighthouse that's in Tarbert, down by Tarbert Pier. And it's the symbol of our school and it's the symbol that's on the school uniform and it symbolizes everything in this school that we are about. Um, the times and the life of a teenager can often be quite difficult, ever changing. The waters of a teenager's life can be quite choppy. And we'd like to think that here in Tarbert Comprehensive, we offer that guiding light, uh, that solace throrock in Irish, whereby, well, the choppy waters are navigated that bit easier and perhaps the students are brought safely to shore to safe harbour back towards the lighthouse. So thank you, everyone. Thank you for taking the time to look at our virtual um, open night. And I'm now going to direct you to the school website because on the school website, you're going to find out more about the school. And we've employed fantastic 3D graphic technology. Uh, we've had the school scanned. Um, using 3D graphics and you can now take a virtual walking tour around the school. So if you go to www.tarbertcomprehensive.ie and click on virtual tour, it will direct you to the appropriate page. And by the way, embedded within that tour are various different videos from students and teachers that will tell you about the various different subjects we have on offer here in the school and hopefully 
answer a lot more questions for you around it. So, Shina Will, Gurumila Mahakav, thank you for taking the time to listen, and I wish you all a good evening.